Welcome back to a brand new episode of Monster and Programming. In today's episode, we'll simply be looking at alerts. So right now I have a very simple alert message and I can edit the text, I can edit the message, also give actions to the button. So if I press on cancel, the alert is simply dismissed. But if I press on change, the, some action is actually taking place and the text changes to red. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Welcome back guys, so the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is simply enable your canvas by clicking on this button and then pressing on canvas. I'll also be expanding this because we simply need that extra real estate. And let's start ahead uh, by creating two objects. The first one is going to be called show alerts and it will carry boolean values. For now, we'll start off by giving it a false value. and under that, we're going to be creating another object, and this time it's just going to be carrying a color. So I'm going to call it colory. You can call it anything you want, and I'm going to say color dot blue, just like this. So after that, we're going to start by adding a button, which will be our trigger to our alert. And I'm going to do this by clicking on this button, navigating key, and dragging and dropping a button. Now, because I feel like things are looking a little bit messy, I'm just going to Command A, then Control I, and now things look a little bit more uniform. So inside our action, this is the action that will happen once you press on the button. I want to change Show Alerts from False to True. So I'm simply going to say self dot show alerts, and I'm going to pass in a value of True. And now every time the button is pressed, show alerts changes from false to true. Inside of our text, I will say change text color. And I'm going to give it a color for grand color. And we're going to pass in what, whatever we wrote up here. So I'm just going to copy and paste this to avoid some confusion. And now if I actually resume, you'll see all the changes that we just added. In just a second, there we go. Change text color and it has the color of blue. Let's go ahead and run this just to see what will happen. And if we press on this, nothing will happen. So all we have left is simply trigger something when we press on this and that thing will be the alert. We can get out of the preview mode. And after the button, so I just want you to notice something. If you click on the plus sign, and you try to type in alert, you realize that alerts are actually not an object. They are a modifier. And that means they get added under the object that you wish to modify, just like this. Now I'll just move this to one line down to keep things clean. And right now, there, as you can see, there's something that says is presented. Now from that, we can understand that if we say is presented equal to false, that the alert will not be presented. But if this is equal to true, it will be presented. And because we want our alert to pop and then dismiss, as we press on something, we're going to pass in show alerts. And that's because every time someone's going to press on the button, actually you need to use the dollar sign, just like that. And every time someone presses on the button, this will change to true, which means this will be presented. So after that, let's actually add the content of that alert. So what happens? Oh, sorry, what's, what appears inside the alert message. So I'm just going to receive the content. And inside of here, I'm going to say alert. Everything here kind of like makes sense. And I'm going to give it a title, a message, text, and dismiss button. Just like that. Uh, so I'm actually going to go ahead and select the second one because it gives us two buttons. And inside of here, that for the title, I'm going to say text. And I'm going to say... Uh, change text color for my message. I'm going to say text and I'm going to say this cannot be undone just to, you know, give the user some alerts and actually understanding what they're going to do when they press on this button. For our primary button, let's actually move to the second line just like that and move this like that so we can kind of see everything. And for our primary button, 
this is the name of your button this is not the type this is just a name you can actually call this anything and this will work let's go ahead and remove the alert button text and i'm gonna go ahead and type in a dot and then as you can see as soon as i type that a lot of other options came for now i'm going to select default and inside of here i'm going to say text cancel and this will be the cancel button which will simply when you press on it will dismiss our alert you don't need to type any other code you simply just need to say default the text and you don't even need to give it any action for the secondary button however we want something to happen we want the color to change when it gets pressed let me show you how exactly we're going to do that so i'm going to say dot and this time i'm going to select destructive and inside of here i'm going to say text and I'm going to say change. All right, let's go ahead and actually run this and see what will happen. So let's click on the play button and let's click on the change. And as you can see, we get our beautifully uh, laid out alert with our text, uh, our message, and two buttons. Now, cancel is in blue because it's the default, which means it's naturally selected. And the change button is in red because it's, it's classified as destructive now destructive means it will always show it in red because it's like a dangerous decision to do or a dangerous action that will happen if you press on that button so i'm going to go ahead and press on this and realize nothing happens but it still gets dismissed and that's because regardless of what button you press on thing it, the alert will be dismissed but if you add an action it will be dismissed and then the action will happen so let's go ahead and and do exactly that so after the second bracket, actually, yeah, after the first bracket, I want you to put a comma and type in action and two bracket, just exactly the same way you would add an action to your button. And inside of here, we're going to say self dot color is equal to color dot red. All right, as you can see, nothing is changing here, but let's go ahead and run this and you'll see that everything we wanted now is available. So let's select, click on the button and if I press cancel, nothing will happen. But if I press on it and press on change, this changes to red. And that's actually it for today's episode. This is how you create alerts. Now, I would highly advise you to uh, try adding different kind of messages, different kind of titles, maybe try different kind of buttons. Remember those dot default, destructive, and cancel, so try them out. But other than that, this is all for this episode. Thank you for watching, and please remember to leave a like and a subscribe. Have a good day.